Celsius for you European folk and that's what we're waiting on right now for the water to get there and that's what you're going to want to maintain it at and then once it gets there then you will take the bag the little like cloth bag uh pull your um grains and you'll set it in there and you'll let it steep like tea now it's very important you want to make sure that you do not like squeeze it or press it or anything like that um because it releases tannins yeah, it'll release the tannins so, what's our temperature at? We are at, uh, we're pretty much there. It's like 152, 153. All right, let's go ahead and put our bag in and then we're gonna turn down that heat to maintain that 155. Yeah, so you just wanna put it on low. To maintain your temperature of 155 right. degrees Fahrenheit. Set your bag in there. I like to just make a little tea bag. Set your timer. Yep, 20 minutes. All right. Mm -hmm. For sure. And we'll go ahead and we'll speed this up and I will see you guys in 20 minutes. Hey guys, so now we're back. Now we're about to can continue to the next process and we're about to go ahead and uh, take out our steep. So. And this has been boiling for how long? It's been boiling for about 20 minutes. At 155 degrees. Yes. So now we're gonna just that's all drained out. We're gonna set that guy to the side. Take, go ahead and pop out that thermometer. Set that boy to the side. And now, for the next part, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stir in our malt extract. No, not yet. We gotta bring it back to a boil. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah we, so gotta we gotta turn the heat back up. Mm-hmm. So between four and five. We have an electric stove, so it sucks. But now you just wait, let that get to a boil. Mm, and then it's already smelling very good. Yeah, it looks great. This is this right here is unfermented beer. It's called wort. Yes, wort. For those of you who don't know. So that's where we're at right now. Waiting for that guy. Here's our malt extract that will be going into it. You gotta stir it in kind of slow. Mm -hmm. You don't want to just put it all in at once because then it'll like clump up and you don't want that because that'll kind of ruin everything. So the idea or what was suggested was like you go slow. Stir it in, make sure yeah. it's fully dissolved into the wort. Yeah. How's that looking? You see any bubbles yet? Not yet, but it is steaming. It is getting hotter. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, it does. It's real good. I like the smell of this one a lot. 
Yeah, I know. This one's a lot better than the other one. The other one, the other beer that we, uh, the one that you guys saw this bottle in the last video, that one, like, kind of reminded me of a lot of, like, Corona. Like, that's what the smell was. It smells like... It didn't smell like Corona to me. It smelled like a, I don't know, something, but it didn't smell like a Corona. It's certainly darker than Corona. Yeah, it definitely is, but I mean, I don't know. It gave me that smell. Maybe a Modelo. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I could be confusing them. Because a Modelo is darker, like the Modelo Negros. Negros, whatever. <laughs> Our brew is boiling, boiling. So now we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna stir in our dried malt extract. But you want to take it off that eye first. Yeah. Move it to the cooler it. one. Make sure you take it off the eye. Put it on the other one. While you do that. Go ahead and slowly keep that guy up in there. Pour and stir. Or stir. Because the idea here is you want it to completely dissolve. Yep. Just a flick of the wrist. Flick of the wrist, flick of the wrist. Let that go to a boil and we will be back with you guys. Or should we just wait? Yeah, we might as well just wait because it's going to come real quick. We're just going to get it to a boil and then we're going to go ahead and Throw in our bitter. Our bittering hops. And then we will go ahead and back to the future. So you want to yeah. show them the front of the package? So yeah, these hops are, whoop, it's not. There we go, that's good. Are specifically for bittering. And we are going to do it at the beginning of our 60 minute boil because the next step is once we get these hops in there, it has to boil for um, 60 minutes. And it has to just be kept like, you know, not like really, really high boil because you don't want, if it gets too high, it'll actually boil over. Yeah, and, and make a mess and completely mess up your kitchen. Yep. So in 55 minutes, we are going to add honey, um, which we are using a local Ohio honey. This is just one of many that we buy. We bought this at a Giant Eagle. This is gas. If you live in Ohio, Go and get this. If you see this, get it. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I normally get um, fall harvest honey or I get the spring because my understanding is um, that's when you get the most, um, help you re like the most pollens uh, to help you if you have seasonal allergies like me. And so when you drink your tea, if you get the, the first honey of the season or the last honey of the season gives you the most uh, pollen that you need. Um, so that works. So we'll add that at 55 minutes because this is a honey ale. Um, so we don't have to add a lot of a, a honey, just 3.2 ounces. So I'll just kind of eyeball it um, and add that. And then at 58 minutes, we're gonna add the second um, hops. This one is specifically uh, for aroma. So the last two minutes of our 60 minute boil, we'll add that. So there's two packs here for bittering and for aroma. Mm -hmm. But if you ordered an IPA from Craft A Brew, it would actually come with um, a flavoring hop, but Ryan and I do not enjoy hoppy beer, so we're gonna forego that. Yeah, don't, it's not, IPAs are. How are we doing here? Ooh, that looks wonderful. Yeah, it's definitely coming out nice. Yeah. Ooh, that looks nice. All right, guys, so now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna dump in our hops, and we're gonna stir it up a little bit. And then, after that, we put it on a hour-long boil, and we skip to the future. Um, real quick, though, just another thing I wanted to, like, kind of let everybody know is that I know we didn't really, like, show it too much, but you gotta remember that proper sanitation and using the sandy water and making sure you know, you're washing your hands and all that, and everything is just kind of like clean and clear. It's very important when making beer. You know, it, it can easily, like if you make just a little mistake, it can easily kind of be like uh, all messed up. So just making sure you're keeping your area clean and wiping everything and you're washing your hands and your sandy water is set up. Mm -hmm. So actually before Ryan got started, I had already pre-sanitized everything. So right here you see the water. You take half of the pack, 
you reserve the other half of the pack for when it's time for you to bottle um, and you mix it with a gallon of water so that's what I've already done and now you just see that we have the uh, our thermometer sitting in there um, so yeah that's really important and we just kind of wanted to reiterate that even the carboy like I've already sanitized that too um, and we have all of our sanitized stuff because you want to keep it on a clean paper towel these are some bottles that we had left over that we didn't use for our um, bottling process for the last batch uh, but I, you have to you have to lay everything on clean paper towels so that's very important and always using proper hand washing before you get started so that you do not contaminate your brew um, say hi Lola Lola's joining us she's just there for peer support so as Ryan said we'll be back in about 60 minutes um, but just keep in mind in that 60 minute period I'm gonna be adding the honey at the 55 minute mark and I'm gonna be adding um, no that's the aroma hops we're gonna be adding the aroma hops at 58 minutes so I'll be doing all that off screen and when we come back, we'll have uh, we'll start up with the ice bath, and we'll show you how that works. Sir, all right, we'll see you guys then. Hey guys, well, welcome back. Now our finished product is ready to go. We had our wort going on a slow boil for about an hour. And we, uh, my mom went ahead, she put in the honey. Uh, what was the other thing? Uh, the aroma hops. Oh uh, yeah, the aroma hops. And now we're ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it in the ice bath, which we got over there in the sink all we'll set up. Put my big mittens on, and I'm trying to set it up straight in there, good, so it's cooling. Because you want to get it down to about 75 degrees, and yeah, we're in there. So I forgot how long does this take? Well, you're gonna get your thermometer and keep checking oh, it. Okay. So we'll give it a few seconds, a few minutes, and. Um, so it's also important that you want to keep it covered. That's why we have the lid on it to prevent any contamination um, from other things that are in the sink or near the sink. Um, so Ryan has the thermometer. By the way, guys, know that this is definitely like a day long, not like a day long, but it, it takes a little time because it's nighttime outside right now. Well, we've also taken breaks. Oh, yeah, true. And made dinner and all kinds of stuff, so. What's it at right now? One six. Woo! Hot. <laughs> yeah, so we have a long way to go. So we're going to take a break while this cools and we get that water. So we just added a 10 pound bag of ice. That's what's in here. And we added some water. All right, guys, we're back now. And I 
I got Steven here, he's about to help me. This is my stepfather, cool guy, he's awesome. You don't talk. <laughs> All right, so now we're about to go ahead, pour our cool down brew into our bottle. I'm nervous, is that gonna make it in there? Yep, just yeah, make sure you just focus on centering it because Steven's gonna keep it steady for you and do it slow so that it has time to filter and the filter doesn't overflow. Yeah, go a little bit that way just in case if I hit the side. So the reason that we're doing, we're using this because because of the uh, spent hops, there's going to be um, a lot of stuff that we don't want in our brew. So we're using this filter, which we bought separately, wasn't included in the kit um, on Amazon. Yeah, just give it time to empty. And as we said earlier, we've already disinfected, we've already sanitized our carboy. Keep it in the center. You're leaking it off yeah. to the side. Slow and steady wins the race. All right, guys, so now we're gonna go ahead, put our yeast in, and... And we sanitize the scissors right. and the actual yeast packet. Yeah, very clean. clean. I should have told you to shake them down first a little bit so they'd be at the bottom. No, it's at the bottom. Oh, okay, you shook it. Yeah, I got it. Those right there are going to bring our brew to life. Yeah, and the yeast goes in. So now you can get the um, stopper out of the sanitizer yeah. and put that on top. And so um, we're going to set up a little blow off uh, kit on the top so that as it becomes active, which will probably be in the next 12, uh, 12 48 hours, it'll be quite active. And so there's going to be some foam and uh, things that are going to be need to be released. Um, can you go get the tube and show them? Yeah. We've already sanitized the tube for our little blow off kit. So then we will store this in a cool dark place for the next two weeks. So one end of it goes actually into the carboy, and then the other end is gonna go into a clean, fresh glass of water, and that's our blow-off kit. So as it starts to have the yeast start having some, oh, you know what, we skipped a step. We gotta aerate it. Oh. Yeah, I <laughs> forgot about that. Gotta put your finger over it, the top, your thumb, and shake up the bottle. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Let those yeasties get mixed in there and, and, air, and give them some oxygen. Yeah. Make sure your hands are clean. Steve, Ryan's already washed his hands multiple times in this process so that we don't introduce any bacteria that shouldn't be there um, into our brew. Should be good, right? Yep, that's good. There we go. I'm try and get the tube on here. Yeah, I'm going to put this end of the tube back into the uh, sanitizer. So you don't need to get it very far. It just sits in there comfortably. Just saying. Just so you guys can see very really quick before we go ahead and end it out here. That's the final setup. 
got it under in the cabinet with all the extra glass and whatnot. So it'll set up like that for three days. Yeah. For, and then on the third day, you want to show them the piece that we're going to remove the tubing and put it in Yeah. Place. So on the third day, uh, while it's in here, um, well, we'll actually move it down to the basement because we don't have enough space right here. But some you'll see like a bunch of stuff, like just extra little things come out and go into the water. Um, and then on the third day, we'll go ahead, pop this guy up into our little hole at the top. So that way it's, I forgot, what does this do again? So what does this do again? It's just a, it's just a, a different blow off kit because there'll be le less activity after uh, 72 hours. And so that's just what you replace it. So if it needs to bubble up, it can, and we're going to fill it halfway. I don't want to be on camera because I want to oh. be <laughs> Well, yeah, so that'll go on there and then it'll just be sitting down there for weeks to come and eventually we will bring it back up and I will show you guys the bottling process real quick, maybe, you know, on an off day. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching, though. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed uh, both of these videos, actually, and I hope you enjoy this kind of like, I don't know, kind of like a little like a different route from what I'm usually doing with the gaming and stuff. I just feel like the YouTube channel should just be whatever, you know, just kind of life stuff. So you guys know Twitch is where I'm gaming at, but appreciate you guys for watching. I'm about to go ahead and start streaming. Be on the lookout. I will post the video for the walkthrough video. I'm streaming Blair Witch tonight, so it'll be spooky and we will all be drunk. So all right guys thank you for watching and remember to leave a like subscribe to the channel every like every subscribe definitely helps all the views i appreciate you guys i love you be safe be healthy and i will see you all next time